found out that um, Grace would possibly have a uh, birth defect when she was 18 weeks in utero. And actually, I have a picture of this uh, visit. This was me when I was pregnant here. But this was um, the day we found out that she was one, a girl, and that two, she could possibly have an isolated right club foot. I first realized um, when uh, we went to a high risk um, pregnancy doctor and she identified it immediately. She knew, um, you know, she said, she said, I know, I know pretty much 99% that there's a club foot here. She wasn't sure if that condition would be associated with other more severe conditions um, that would be genetically related. And some of these other severe conditions would have been extremely devastated. We were, of course, upset that was something was wrong with our child, but um, having a club foot isn't as extreme as what it could have been linked to. And at that time, she told us that as the preg pregnancy would move forward, um, she would have more of an indication of if it was linked to something more serious. So, um, you know, obviously I was saddened by it because um, I knew she wasn't gonna, she wasn't gonna have a, you know, a fair chance right off the bat. I didn't know what the long-term effects were. Um, I know it's one of the most common, or learned that it's one of the most common birth defects. Um, and then also stressed out because you don't know, you know, usually when there's a birth defect, there's other birth defects also. The doctor had to be very, she really had to cover her bases in medical terms. And what really upset us and what I remember most is that she asked us if we wanted to continue with the pregnancy. And that's really what upset me because um, that really didn't cross my mind. But it's sad to hear that when someone says that to you. And then you're thinking, why would we want to? What, what could this be? And it wasn't until my um, obstetrician called me and kind of relieved me of some of my worries. He said, look, if, if it was something more severe or genetically related, he thought that our numbers, there would be other factors. Um, he didn't have to get as scientific as the specialists, so. Um, he was just kind of talking more in layman's terms, and I was upset telling him, well, she asked us if um, we wanted to abort this pregnancy, and he said, oh, don't worry about it. They just have to tell you that because you are technically close to the legal time where you could, and I guess some people go that route. She had a series of foot manipulations and they force her foot, um, it's, it seems quite barbaric because they're just forcing her foot out little by little. If you can imagine her foot was like this, they want to force it out little by little by little. So the first time they force it out, they would massage it quite drastically because the newborn's bones are still very malleable. So they would force it out and then they would cast her entire leg from her toe all the way up to her hip. And they would keep her um, forced position in that cast for about a week. And then we'd have the cast removed, she'd have her leg massaged and the whole series would happen again. And um, that went on for a number of weeks, maybe six weeks or eight weeks, and then she had to have a um, surgery performed. 
uh, in which they cut her Achilles tendon, um, which, uh, and, and then they kind of forced the foot into the position that it should be in. Because one of the problems with club foot is that the Achilles tendon is too short. So by cutting that, they, um, it was amazing that I even knew that this would happen, but they could cut it and it would actually just grow back together um, in a, you know, longer, by, by kind of forcing the foot in a certain direction, they could cut it and then it would grow longer, basically. Eventually they stopped when the foot was overcorrected. Um, about 10 months into, the, into her life, and then she had to wear a um, metal bar and shoes. This is, these are the shoes. Position her feet like this. Um, so for a while, uh, she had to wear them. I don't remember how frequently, but after a while, it became um, only when she slept. It was supposed to be when she napped and then when, when, when she slept at night. Um, but we would pretty much, it was hard to put them on her when she napped, so we would usually do it when she slept. I thought Grace was special because um, I don't think anyone else in the world had um, boots on while they were sleeping. I, I can't really remember uh, anything that she went through except her going to the doctor and her sitting around with her cast. I don't know if having a club foot has affected Grace's personality. She's certainly very strong-willed, and I can remember um, in those many doctor's visits when they would force her leg out, she would fight it with all of her might, and it was torturous for me because she was screaming her head off the entire time, and you can't really soothe them. They're pinned down and someone's forcing your child's foot out and she would fight it right down to the nail and you know it really showed her strength and her will um, and she's like that she's just very strong-willed whether she was born that way probably I think this will only make her stronger yeah I don't think I don't think it's really that obvious she wears the shoes at night um, other than that you know, luckily we're we're very lucky that she that her her foot was corrected so well. Um, you know, there's still a chance that she may need more surgeries down the down the line. I'm very proud of my of Gravy because she is cute. She's always happy, and I really really like to play with her. In the grand scheme of things, hopefully this will just be a drop in the ocean. Um, it was hard on us, her early years, mostly her, her year as a baby, just because those treatments were so frequent and so um, hard on us emotionally um, to hear her cry and get her foot manipulated and have your sweet baby have this huge cast. But, and the shoes are a little bit cumbersome too, but um, even now as, as a two-year-old, she, people who see her and maybe haven't seen her in a while, they're just amazed knowing her condition because she'll cry, climb up a wa rock wall and she's our third child, so we're not as um, worrisome about, oh, she'll be fine kind of attitude. and she's as active as any two-year-old would be. She's been doing well with um, the treatment and um, you know he, he says that she's been responding nicely. Um, you know I think other than her foot being a little bit of a different size <clears throat> you know other than that she seems to be you know pretty pretty normal. I think her condition could possibly affect her um, physically and mentally. Her her leg, her one leg, 
that had the club condition is smaller than the other leg. Um, if you were to look at both of her legs side by side, the one leg is just skinnier. It may possibly be shorter um, and her foot is smaller. So being a female, I think depending on her um, body image, hopefully it won't affect her too much, but she might be a little bit aware that the one leg is skinnier and she may definitely become frustrated if she has a shoe problem because you know most girls love shoes and if she finds that one's uncomfortable or if she has to buy two pairs of shoes just to get the right fit that's going to be frustrating but hopefully she'll grow up with a good head on her shoulders and won't bother her too much.